welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Please visit www.comlexflashcards.com for complete Comlex prep resources as you prepare for the board exam. And if you're a medical student or a resident or a fellow, please subscribe to our blog at www.comlexflashcards.com for daily updates including case studies and podcasts that will help you through your preparation. Let's review our first case here and it says which of the following fractures is the most commonly associated with the dislocation of the Lis Frank joint? Is it the base of the fifth metatarsal, base of the second metatarsal, diaphysis of the, sec of the fifth metatarsal, navicular bone, or the talus? Again here, this is a very common type of a fracture, the Lis Frank fracture and it's actually the base of the second metatarsal as your answer and you can see that on the x-ray image as well as on the image that shows you the Lis Frank complex and what happens is that injuries to the joint commonly are missed um, they occur with rotational force or axial loading and signs include the plantar ecchymoesis sign and tenderness about the joint on palpation there's fracture of the base of the second metatarsalis and that's pathognomonic for this condition. It requires immediate orthopedic consultation. Let's review some of the other common fractures. In space of the fifth metatarsal, you can have pseudo-Jones fractures, which is also called dancer's fractures. This occurs after inversion of the ankle with plantar flexion. There's short leg weight-bearing cast for four to six weeks that's needed. Patients can also have diaphysis of the fifth metatarsal. You can have Jones fracture, high incidence of malunion, and typically non weight bearing cast for six to eight weeks is recommended. So at the fifth metatarsal, you can have pseudo Jones fractures or a Jones fractures, and it's important to keep all of these fractures in mind as you're taking the board exam. That was a quick overview of some of the common orthopedic scenarios you may see for the foot on the Comlex board exam. Please visit ComlexFlashcards.com for additional resources in osteopathic manipulative medicine and in a variety of medical specialties as you prepare for the board exam. Good luck in your preparation.